I eat for people. I just eat what I want, and they pay for it. Imagine being so obese it takes days to take you to the hospital, and even then, you are not the fattest person to ever live. They started this thing out by calling me the half-ton man. In this video, we will be looking at the most obese people ever. Get ready, because some of these stories are just heartbreaking. Sit tight and let's dive in. Charity Pierce. Starting off with Charity Pierce, who found comfort in food while living with her alcoholic and violent father. Sneaking into the kitchen as a young child led to a struggle with binge eating disorder. Even when full, she kept eating because it brought happiness, though afterwards she would feel like a monster. By 38, she weighed a staggering 765 pounds, confined to her home, unable to walk, fit into a car, or do even basic daily tasks like using the restroom or bathing, and these problems were also compounded by lymphedema and bacterial infections. Faced with a tipping point, Charity decided it was time to take back control. Driven by her dream of marrying her 21-year-old boyfriend and visiting her mother battling brain cancer, she sought surgery. But local doctors demanded she shed 200 pounds first. So, she launched a GoFundMe to reach Dr. Nauzaradan in Houston, known for his expertise with patients over 600 pounds. TLC's My 600 Pound Life captured her journey, rallying support for her surgery. Charity became a sensation after the episode aired, and over the years, she shed over 500 pounds through numerous surgeries, reaching a healthier weight of 265 pounds. However, life threw its curveballs. Her boyfriend left her for her sister, and she lost touch with her daughter, prompting her to resort to old habits. But she managed to bounce back and even got back with her daughter, although she faced another hurdle when diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2020, resulting in the removal of one of her kidneys. Despite her struggles, she stood strong as an inspiration to the world. Mercedes Cephas Just like Charity, Mercedes also found comfort in eating after dealing with verbal abuse from her father, which led to an eating addiction. At her peak, she weighed 773 pounds, and doctors pushed her to shed a large amount of weight before undergoing surgery. Dr. Nozaradan, the obesity specialist, prescribed a diet plan, but she struggled to follow it. Although she lost 81 pounds, it wasn't enough to be cleared for surgery. She decided to leave the reality show and opened a GoFundMe to arrange money for the procedure herself, but it wasn't much of a success either. Now, she lives a very private life and it's unsure if she still has the same unhealthy eating disorder or has been following Dr. Now's advice. Julian Valentine. Growing up in a poor household, Julian ate a lot whenever he got food as a child, unsure of when the next meal would be. This habit continued into his adulthood, even after he became self-sufficient and earned enough that he didn't have to worry about his next meal. When he first appeared on a reality TV show, his weight was 830 pounds at the age of 33. He knew he had to change his eating habits before they killed him. Following the diet plan given by the doctors, he was able to lose 136 pounds. But during his trip to Texas for bariatric surgery, he regained almost all of the weight and his surgery was put on hold for two more months. After the surgery, it was revealed on the show that Julian had lost almost 200 pounds. But since then, he focused on his personal life and has stayed low-key on social media. Although his recent Facebook pictures hint that he continued on his transformative weight loss journey. Samantha Manson. I found the perfect community to reinforce my worst habits. This line from Samantha herself paints the picture of her food addiction becoming life-threatening. Her addiction started as a result of emotional eating after her parents got divorced when she was just six years old. Already morbidly obese, she found a way to make it worse by becoming a fetish model, getting paid to eat on camera. It paid the bills and gave her confidence, but it also put her in grave danger. She eventually opted out of this profession and decided to lose weight, so her teenage daughter wouldn't lose her mom. At her heaviest, she weighed 974 pounds, 
but quickly cut it down to 800 pounds after she stopped streaming herself eating. Her weight loss surgery was documented in the My 600 Pounds Life series, but she regretted appearing there as it led to severe criticism from viewers. She realized it was just exploiting fat people so viewers could laugh at them. After her surgery in 2020, she lost a total of 320 pounds in just a few months and continued on her weight loss journey, making her life more private. Although she did update her fans on TikTok in 2023, sharing that she has lost over 650 pounds and spends most of her time with cats and her daughter, Bella. Andres Moreno Weighing in at 979 pounds, Moreno held the title of the fattest man alive in Mexico back in 2015. But he had had enough of this lifestyle and wanted to change, so he decided to get surgery. First, he shed more than 275 pounds just to get himself ready for the gastric bypass surgery and even received a signed shirt from Cristiano Ronaldo, a gesture to keep him motivated on his journey to better health. Although the surgery was a success, his habits turned fatal. Despite being diabetic and on a weight loss journey, he was drinking more than six cans of energy drinks every day. The combination of stimulants and sky-high sugar levels proved to be a lethal mix and caused him a fatal heart attack on Christmas of 2015, just two months after the surgery, and he passed away on his way to the hospital. Keith Martin Losing a parent, especially at a young age, can mess you up, and with no proper guidance, one can delve into unhealthy habits. And Keith Martin's story is a prime example. Battling the emotional stress of losing his mom at just 16, he turned to emotional eating, which ultimately led him to consume more than 15,000 calories a day, which included 24 fried eggs for breakfast alone. Things got so bad that Keith ended up bedridden. At his peak, he hit a whopping 980 pounds. Doctors warned him that if he didn't start shedding the weight, he might not have more than two years left. With thoughts of being stuck in bed for the rest of his life, Keith hit rock bottom. But thankfully, he had his sister by his side, pushing him to make a change. He managed to slash his daily calorie intake down to 2,000, shedding an impressive 350 pounds. But even that wasn't enough for the surgery, doctors wanted him to be able to stand on his own two feet first. But Keith wasn't about to give up. With sheer determination and a whole lot of self-control, he finally got the green light for surgery. And boy, did he make progress. He dropped nearly half of his peak weight. But tragically, Keith's dreams of seeing his 50th birthday never came true. At just 44, he passed away from pneumonia, the same disease that took his mom's life. Paul Jonathan Manson For Paul, food became his coping mechanism for dealing with emotional issues rooted in child abuse. It led him to gain so much weight that he became the heaviest man in the UK, weighing at 981 pounds. He applied for gastric bypass surgery through publicly funded healthcare, NHS, which was approved in 2010. Finally, in 2012, he underwent the surgery, and over the next seven years, he managed to shrink himself down to just 280 pounds. Sounds like a great transformation story, right? Well, not quite. Paul moved to the USA to start a new life with his American love, whom he met on Facebook. But in 2018, when her ex-fiancé broke up with her, Paul found himself grappling with emotional pain once again. This led him back to unhealthy eating habits, almost doubling his size. Now, Paul believes that his condition requires therapy rather than just physical treatment. Katrina Rayford Bedbound for five years, Katrina used photos of slimmer women on online dating sites to start relationships, despite being the heaviest alive woman in the world. In December 2003, she had to call an ambulance due to difficulty breathing. But getting her to the hospital was no easy feat. They had to use heavy machinery to get her out of her house. That embarrassing moment became the turning point in her life. Katrina worked hard and demonstrated remarkable self-control in order to lose weight from her 1,000-pound frame. She lost about 300 pounds, qualifying her for gastric bypass surgery. In total, she dropped a whopping 500 pounds. 
the happier and more confident Katrina decided to give online dating another shot, this time using her own pictures. Sean Milliken Growing up in a broken home, Sean faced mistreatment from his father and his mother's tactic of treating him with food to make him happy made him develop an eating disorder. When his parents split up, Milliken blamed himself and started eating more since only that made him happy. By his late teens, he was already over 400 pounds. High school was a struggle, and when he injured his ankle in senior year, he ended up stuck in bed. His mom, acting as an enabler, kept piling on the food, thinking she was making him happy. As health issues piled up, Milliken turned to Dr. Now for help, but when he stepped on the scale at the clinic, it just read, out of range. Dr. Now sent him home with a diet plan to drop weight before surgery. But when Milliken returned, he had packed on even more pounds, hitting 1,003 pounds. That's when Dr. Now realized Milliken's mom was part of the problem. He admitted Milliken to the hospital, where he shed 250 pounds. But once he was back home, the weight started creeping back on. It wasn't until Dr. Now sent them both to therapy that things started to turn around. Milliken lost 350 pounds and finally qualified for surgery. After shedding another 455 pounds post-surgery, things were looking up. But then, his mom went back to her old habits, slowing down his progress. Milliken's journey became a roller coaster of weight gain and doctor interventions separating him from his mother, resulting in weight loss. The continuous weight swings took a toll on his body, eventually leading to a tragic heart attack at just 29 years old. Mother's instincts are a real thing, but that can't be said for Sean's mother, because all she did was harm him in the name of love. Andre Nasa Dr. Nick Cormas, an obesity specialist in Australia, gets this letter from Nasa mentioning that he is basically eating himself into an early grave, but he doesn't want to die at 35. When Dr. Cormas agreed to help and Andre Nasa was weighed, it shocked everyone as he was 1,032 pounds heavy, making him the heaviest person ever recorded in Australia. Poor guy was dealing with skin infections and pneumonia and was in desperate need of help. Getting him to the hospital was a whole mess. They had to call in a team of 20 firefighters to cut a hole in the wall just to get him out. At his heaviest, Andre could down 20 pieces of KFC in one sitting and guzzle more than 6 litres of soda a day. That's some serious eating, even though Andre never pointed fingers at his parents. He knew his condition was all on him. Still, he admitted his mom used to sneak him food, even though it was killing him. Fast forward six months in the hospital, he shed more than 370 pounds, and now he is standing and walking again after three long years. He even became a bit of a social media sensation, keeping his fans in the loop on his weight loss journey. He's been a bit quiet lately, but last we heard, he had dropped around 590 pounds. Kenneth Brumley Brumley was always a chubby kid, but he stayed active playing basketball, baseball, and football. That kept him in decent shape during his teen years. But when he moved to California with his mom at 19 years old, he struggled to make friends and gave up on sports and found comfort in food, which increased his weight over time. For seven years before his surgery, Brumley's routine was pretty much stuck on repeat, binge-watching TV all day and eating like there was no tomorrow. Seriously, his daily food intake was what most guys would eat in two whole weeks. The poor dude was completely immobile for four years. However, when his wife left, taking four kids with her, Brumley finally realized he needed help. Getting the 1,033 pounds heavy, Brumley to the hospital wasn't easy. Firefighters had to bust down a wall just to get him out of the house. But once he was under medical care, things started to look up. With his calorie intake slashed from 30,000 to just 1,200 a day, he dropped over 160 pounds in just 40 days. He then underwent gastric bypass surgery, but he quickly faded from public view. According to rumors, he has been focused on his health and reconnecting with his family. Who knows how he looks now and how much weight he's shed. Here's to hoping he's on his way to a better, healthier existence. Mera Rosales 
The story of Mera is bizarre. Back in 2008, things took a dark turn when Mera got tangled up in the murder trial of her two-year-old nephew. She confessed to accidentally crushing him, but the reports showed the poor kid was actually beaten to death. Mera was pretty much immobile for two years, so it's hard to buy her accident story. Turns out, her weight had robbed her of any sense of purpose. Prison, or even facing the death penalty, didn't faze her much. So she took the blame for her sister, who had actually hit the child, for not eating. After her sister fled the country, Mera wanted to step in and take custody of her sister's other kids. But then she realized her weight of 1,040 pounds made it impossible for her to care for them. That's when she decided to seek help from Dr. Nauzaradan. Even before her surgery, Mera managed to drop over 400 pounds under medical supervision. Her weight loss journey became a documentary sensation in 2012 and made her last TV appearance in 2013, where she talked about shedding over 800 pounds. Plus, she found herself a romantic partner along the way. After that, she pretty much slipped into a quiet, normal life, got hitched in 2016 and everything. Sadly, she passed away on February 16, 2024. Patrick Doyle Behind every big person, there's usually someone enabling them, and for Patrick, it was his wife. She loved him so much that she just kept feeding him, even when his eating disorder was getting out of control. By 2005, Patrick's health was getting worse each day. He weighed 1,072 pounds, and his body was struggling. He had to lie on his stomach just to keep his organs from crushing. His skin was covered in painful sores, and his heart was failing. They literally knocked down a wall in his bedroom to get him to the hospital where he got gastric bypass surgery. But his wife didn't stick to the diet plan after the surgery. She just kept serving up whatever he wanted. Patrick dropped to 370 pounds. But after getting back to home, he started smoking again and diving back into unhealthy foods. And within a year, he was back up to 560 pounds. Still, he was grateful to even be moving around. He hadn't left his home for seven whole years before the surgery. Patrick didn't exactly do everything you'd hope for, someone getting a second chance at life. He wasn't perfect, and in his last years, he stopped weighing himself altogether. In 2016, Patrick passed away. His story is a reminder that sometimes, second chances are complicated, messy, and far from perfect. Michael Habranco now we have a guy who battled with food addiction, but was known for his compassion and humor. When he first went to the hospital, he weighed 900 pounds. They had to forklift him out of the window. But in 1989, he teamed up with fitness expert Richard Simmons to turn things around. With a controlled diet and more physical activities, Michael shed an incredible 700 pounds during his stay at St. Luke's Hospital in New York City. This even landed him in the Guinness World Record for the highest weight loss in the 1990s. He became a bit of a celebrity, popping up on talk shows all over the country and even scoring an invite to the Oprah Winfrey show. Michael didn't just stop there, he shared his story through lectures and even started an organization to help others struggling with obesity. But you know, life's never a straight line. After the great weight loss and slimming down from a waist size of 110 inches to just 36 inches, Michael faced new health challenges and battled a relapse into his food addiction. By 1999, he weighed more than ever at a staggering 1,100 pounds, one of the heaviest people ever recorded. But Michael was no quitter. He shed over 600 pounds again and lived more than a decade keeping his weight in check. Unfortunately, Michael died on July 25, 2014, at the age of 60. Despite his own battles with obesity, he dedicated himself to assisting and educating others, inspiring numerous individuals in the process. Eman Ahmed El Ati From Alexandria, Egypt, Iman weighed 1,100 pounds, making her the heaviest woman of the 21st century. Her schooling was cut short due to thyroid issues. For a quarter century, Iman remained confined to her home until 2017, when Saifi Hospital in Mumbai, India, 
offered to perform bariatric surgery on her, free of charge. Remarkably, within two months, she shed half of her weight, down to around 380 pounds. Doctors had hoped for further surgeries over the next few years to bring her weight under 220 pounds. However, her family grew skeptical of the medical team at Saifi Hospital. They took her to a hospital in the UAE, where more concerns emerged, underlying heart and kidney problems. Tragically, Eamon, the world's heaviest lady at the time, passed away just 16 days after her 37th birthday on September 25th in 2017. Robert Butler Traveling eight miles will take you less than an hour, right? But for Robert, it was a whole different story. Transporting him from his fourth floor apartment to the hospital took seven hours. Why? Well, he needed a crane to move out of his home and then was transported via truck because he couldn't walk or even use a wheelchair. Robert Butler, the fifth heaviest man ever recorded, weighed a whopping 1,200 pounds. He spent almost a decade locked up in Bannister House care home, hoping to shed enough weight to qualify for surgery. But instead of losing weight, he gained more and then had to be moved when the nursing home closed down due to bankruptcy. Despite his pleas, the government did not approve his surgery. Tragically, Robert died in 2015, never having received the operation he needed so desperately. Juan Pedro Franco Juan has been big since he was young. At just six years old, he surpassed 140 pounds, and by his 70th birthday, he was pushing over 500. But things hit a breaking point when he reached 32 and hit the scales at a whopping 1,340 pounds. Simple tasks like lifting his arms became a struggle and had to wear diapers. It was clear his weight was a ticking time bomb. Finally, Juan sought help from an obesity specialist in Guadalajara, Mexico. It was a big step for him, quite literally, as he left his bed for the first time in years to undergo surgery on October 2016. By February 2018, Juan had shed over 600 pounds. While many in his shoes might have sunk into depression, Juan's spirit stayed strong. With each surgery and newfound independence, like being able to drink water and use the bathroom on his own, he stayed committed to the healthy path. And he's not stopping. His aim is to keep shedding more. Manuel Uribe Meet the heaviest man in Mexico. Manuel had struggled with obesity since his teen years, tipping the scales at around 250 pounds. Despite his weight, he ate like most teenagers. But things got out of control after he moved to the USA in 1987 with his first wife. Manuel's job did not require much physical activity, and he spent most of his time sitting at his desk. This lack of activity caused his weight to quickly rise, which also took a toll on his mental health. As his obesity worsened, his wife left him, and despite seeking medical help, he continued to gain weight. By 2002, Manuel was totally incapable of getting out of bed, weighing 1,370 pounds. He returned to Mexico, requesting help from the government. He refused to get gastric bypass surgery, but then Barry Sear, the creator of Zone Diet, came to his help. Through sheer determination and dietary changes, Manuel managed to shed an impressive 790 pounds, though he faced setbacks and remained bedridden. Love still made its way to him, and in 2008, he married his girlfriend, who had been with him for the past four years, proving that love knows no bounds. Unfortunately, he died at the age of 48 in his hometown as a result of abnormal heartbeat and liver failure. Khalid bin Mohsen Shari. Introducing once known as the world's heaviest man, Khalid bin Mohsen Shari from Saudi Arabia. By the age of 17, he was well over a thousand pounds. In 2013, Khalid made headlines as the heaviest person alive, weighing in at 1,340 pounds. His situation caught the attention of King Abdullah, who ordered to ensure the 22-year-old received care. With Khalid bedridden for three years, Saudi authorities brought in a special crane from America to get him out of his place and transfer to Riyadh, the capital. After years of dedicated effort, 
Khalid achieved a remarkable feat. In 2016, he took his first steps in five years, and by January 2018, he underwent his final surgery after undergoing rigorous dietary and physical programs. Remarkably, he reached a healthier weight of just 150 pounds, shedding an astounding 1,195 pounds, the highest weight loss ever recorded. In an incredible transformation, Khalid lost over half of his body weight, precisely 710 pounds, within the first six months of his journey. With that much progress, he finally has a chance at a normal life. John Brower Minock. And finally, the heaviest man on the planet you all have been waiting for, John Brower Minock. John's problem with obesity began at a young age, with him weighing nearly 300 pounds at the age of 12. By his 20s, he was over 800 pounds, but unlike many on this list, he wasn't handicapped or anything. He drove taxis for 17 years and even ran his own taxi company in Bainbridge, Washington. His weight continued to rise and John took extraordinary measures, reducing his food intake to nearly nothing and using diuretics to lose excess water weight. This aggressive treatment left him bedridden, resulting in heart and respiratory failure. Firefighters responded to the emergency and had to remove a window to free John from his home, which required over 12 of them to transfer him to the hospital. Doctors estimated his weight at a staggering 1,400 pounds, making him the heaviest person ever recorded. After two years of intensive care and a strict diet, John left the hospital weighing only 476 pounds, having shed an incredible 924 pounds. However, his battle was far from over. Despite his initial success, John's weight crept back up and he found himself readmitted to the hospital at 952 pounds. Tragically, John passed away two years later from cardiac arrest, weighing 798 pounds. His burial required two cemetery plots and 11 men to carry his casket. Well, that's a wrap on the 20 most obese people in the world. From incredible transformations to heartbreaking losses, this journey has been an emotional roller coaster. Let me know in the comments which transformation you found most amazing. And before you leave, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and share what you'd like to see next time. Until then, goodbye.